Hey. Hi. How are you? Not that much. Doing really good. Drinks, really good. They both knew. Um, so what so I think. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah it, was, uh, it was a busy day. I got a lot done. Yeah. 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 to go back to any of the places where I used to go to a lot. Like I can't, I stopped and I was walking home from one of the only times I did go into the office. And I walked by the, uh, what was that bar called that we used to go with Jennings on, <gasps> on Maple Street? Yeah. It had the really rude host, but we'd still always go in. Yeah, no, and the, the sign, I can't even remember. It was either, like, Joe's or John's, but the sign was so old. John's, it was John's. It was John's. Was it? Okay, yeah. But I tried going in the other day for a beer, and I had one sip, and I looked in the corner, and I just saw the booth where we all used to sit. And I walked over, and I sat down for, like, a minute. And then I just got up. I didn't finish my beer. I paid, and I left. I'm not going to be able to sit down and have a conversation if you're going to do this. I'm just saying that now. I'm trying to be funny. It was a witty joke. It wasn't. You laughed at my jokes before. I thought it was funny. Not at those. All right. You know I... that that wasn't an okay thing to say. I guess it wasn't. So when, when was the last time that you talked to them, do you think? Can we... Mom and I talk every now and then. Dad, I talk to more. I guess Mom and I speak indirectly through him. But we'll text each other goodnight. Like every other day, I try to do it every day. Yeah. I'll miss the phone calls. They called. But I don't have time right now to have a 35-minute phone call. So. Like being alone for the holidays, you think you'd be okay? I mean, not really other people that I want to be with for holidays. No, I understand. I just, because I know I need the interaction. Otherwise, I start to, um, I don't know, it gets bad. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I, just, I just wanted to make sure. And it hasn't been going well. I'm going to be completely honest with you. That's part of why I'm so anxious, because I feel like if I engage more than I already am, then it's it's only going to get worse. And I don't know. For my runs, I run past um, that one spot by the river. With um, they have like the map set up for if you want to hike and like the bench and everything. And 
I mean, that was difficult at first, but it, it's gotten easier each time I do it. becomes a little more bearable, I guess. Glad you got there. Yeah. yeah. We both knew you would. <laughs> why do we... Why do you keep sitting down and having these conversations? Because we both know how this looks. And I'm like, I'm there in my own way. I mean, it sucks still. I think I should be working more. But you were always the type of person who sort of pushed right to the finish line. So it sounds like it's good that you're there. But I was cleaning, and I know I needed to clean everything up in here a little bit more. So the last time you were over here, you saw it was sort of a shithole. <laughs> I, I want to know how you're doing. It's that simple. I care about you and want to know that you're okay. Yeah. It's weird going back, like, to think that that was a place we used to always look forward to going to. And some of the tabs that you and I racked up there was <laughs> the New Year's Eve party. That was... Oh, my God. Yeah. So is it? does it just make you feel good to say it? No, I... Because you're really, really bad at the follow-through. You're really bad at the follow-through. And I don't know if it's for your own sake, just to look. But if you always ask me if I'm doing well and you turn on the camera and it's clear that I'm not doing well, then what's the point? I feel like you, I feel like it's easier because you're like, you, you're you doing stuff. And it's getting easier for me too. Mm. But I feel like when we see those spaces, it's not like it was you or I that was there. It was a different part of us, even though it was us, but. Yeah, it it's funny. It kind of just it almost feels like a different, um, like different dimension now. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you look good. Thanks. You do too. I'm glad to hear that you're doing good. Yeah. For what it's worth, I want to say that. I am sorry for everything. I know that's a broad way to put it, but there are so many little things that I could apologize for. But the main one is, is that I am sorry for making you take care of me. And I know I didn't make you do it, but it's something that I chose. And I did it for me, and I know I did it for me. It, it felt good to be wanted. And in a way, I felt like that if I didn't take care of myself, you would keep an eye on me and watch me, but that just became unhealthy, and I know it's unhealthy, and I still love you, but I love you enough to say that I am not okay, and I know I'm not okay, and I should not make you sit through things like this anymore until I'm good and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be good I promise you I'm gonna be good I promise myself I'm gonna be good I'm gonna be fine but until then I think that we can't be a part of each other's lives because this this isn't us and it doesn't need to be something that's us but it, I want to be someone in your life that is better than who I am now and I have to take some time to figure that out and I promise you I will and you're gonna get a call from me soon and we're gonna I'm sorry oh, and it's, it's time to hang up anyways you probably gotta go out but I was, uh, letting me know she's outside well I'm, I didn't I'm, gonna get get well. I'm gonna get better it's okay I'll see you soon. I love you. I love you too. You know what to do. Bye.